Bernard Fernandez? Yes. Okay, okay. I kind of used to have a beard. I don't remember. I mean, when I when I was a kid, you used to have a beard. You got white. Give me a look old. Does your mindset change going from hunter to hunted? I'm still hunting. I'm still hunting. You know, there's, there's more belts out there to get. You know, it's more money to make. I talk about all the time. I made challenging money, man. I ain't made no championship money yet. So uh, I'm still hunting. How do you keep that hunting uh, mind frame? There's always uh, top 54 pounds out there. There's always new goals to, to climb. Always new goals to accomplish. I mean, um, I'm not the I'm the best fighter in the 154 pound division. I'm not the technically I'm not the best fighter in the world. And I want to be the best fighter in the world. You, you mentioned obviously you're a fighter of the year candidate and when you won the title, but you know it's like you always say in boxing, you know. Get off first, you know, and that's like land your punches. But it's like anything else. It's always a new shiny toy that comes along and gets talked about. The latest one being in a way and and, uh, and down there. Um, how many of these other potential five of the year candidates have you seen that do you still feel? That you're up? That's a great question. Uh, there's so many of them. The reason why I don't near, I think the perception of the fight is what made it so great. The perception of that particular fight was he now was the was the, the young pup the young pup that was knocking everybody out and Donaire was the old washed up champion and Donaire probably was the even fight up until the eleventh round so he got knocked down with the body shot. Have you have you seen any the of the fight. other fights that uh, that uh, have been talked about? I've seen all of them. Which, which ones are you talking about? You got to believe yours is still number one. Uh, I think it's up there. I think it's up there. I think uh, Progress and, and Josh Teller was a really good fight. Uh, without being biased, I think mine's is up there. But people remember the last thing they've seen. And my fight happened early in the year. And their fight happened late in the year. But we still got some good fights coming up, man. I think the, uh, it's still out. You know, I think I think some... It's, it's still a, Anthony Joshua and... Uh, Ruiz has a, has a chance to be fighting of the year, so we'll see. We'll see. If, if, if Ruiz wins, like he might be the favorite, you know. If he, if he... You know what? If, if if he wins the fight, I think he'll be fighter of the year. It depends on how good the fight is. That first fight was a really good fight. You mentioned the Josh Teller uh, pro grade fight. Were you surprised at the results of that fight? No, I think it was two uh, hungry and prom 140 pounds fighting off, fighting against each other. Can't be surprised. Both of them, both, both of the guys are champions. Both of those guys are really great fighters. Um, so no, I wasn't surprised. It was, a, it was a back and forth kind of fight. It was a good fight, great fight. What do you see? What do you see? I think he's a solid fighter. You know, I think uh, he's got some resilience about some, some resiliency about himself. Um, he's been matched pretty tough, so he's, he's used to being in there tough. And uh, I think uh, he's, he's going to prepare. Now, Bradman said that you're better when you feel threatened or you're against opponent, an opponent that threatens you. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I'm, I think I'm better when I'm doubting and people think I can't do something. You know what I mean? Uh, I think every, every great athlete has a clutch gene, you know what I mean, where they can turn on, you know, when need be. And I think I got that clutch gene. Were you surprised that Jared Hurd turned down the uh, immediate rematch and moved up to 160? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I was surprised to say. I don't know if I was. Saying, I don't know if I was surprised, but I think it was. Uh, I wasn't surprised. I didn't. I didn't really. It didn't really matter to me whether I fought him again or not. If he fought again, it was like okay, I'm gonna beat him again. And if it's not, I'm like okay, I go on about my career. You know what I mean? So I wasn't. I wasn't seeing surprise. There were a lot of rumors that you were gonna fight Laura in this fight. Uh -huh. um, not that that matters, and I know you want to stay focused on your opponent now. Mm -hmm. But why did that not work out? What, what, what happened with that? Were you disappointed that well, you? I, I think sometimes I think the media just make up things and they just run with it. To be completely honest, Lara was never on the table, wow. so I don't know who came up with that. Whoever came up with that is completely, completely off. Wow. I think uh, sometimes media put things in the air to kind of like for the fights that they want to make and then they'll push the, that, that narrative because that's the fight that they want to see. But Lara was never on the table. And how do you feel when you when you look through your timeline and you see like things that aren't true about you? Like, I don't care, man. That's, that's life, man. man. I can't. If I would get mad at every little thing, I'd be walking around pissed off all day. I mean, so, I don't, I don't you know, like, a lot was said right up there about it. Philadelphia is such a great fight town. It's got such a great reputation. Hey, you get here, I had a drive past the Blue Rise, and it's boarded up, yeah. and you got graffiti in the windows. Yeah, right. You're fighting here for the first time in 
I only years. fought here. Only fought here twice. Actually, yeah, I fought I mean, my pro debut know, and I fought at the Armory back in 2000. Man, you know as well as I do that there are some good young fighters, you know, from Philadelphia. They don't know who the hell Benny Briscoe is or Willie the Worm or. or well, that's because they don't do their homework. You, but you, but you know those. Yeah, homework. for sure, absolutely, absolutely. I know, the, I know, I know the rich tradition, boxing tradition, Philadelphia has here, and uh, I'm, I'm that's why. I, I uh, wanted to make sure I brought, brought a fight back here so I can keep that tradition going. It's very important. Is it harder or the same to stay focused being at home? I mean, I know you got people calling you and then you got your family close. You know what? I can, like, I look at it like this. You think it's harder for me to walk out and, and, and the DMV in front of nah, 6,000 fans not. that's rooting against me, cursing absolutely at not. me, throwing shit at me? You know what I mean? <laughs> want me to lose, want me to get knocked out, or it's yeah. going to be easier to walk into a stadium with, you know, people that's supporting me and rooting for me. So it's, it depends on how you look at it. A lot of people say, you know, I guess this applies to boxing too, that it's a lot harder to stay – Someplace yeah. once you yeah. get there, yeah. rather than to get there, yeah. you got the, now the maybe the bigger obstacle is staying mm -hmm. there, you know, mm -hmm. and, and establishing all those goals as mm -hmm. the best of 154 and maybe somewhere way down the road, yeah. Canastota, yeah. something like that. Uh, I just try to make short term, go short term, short term goals. My first goal was to win a world title. I didn't think I would be a unified champion the first time I would win the world titles. So the, the next, the second goal was actually I got the first and second goal, the first shot. So now it's just uh, I want to fight the best competition available. You know what I mean? I want to I want to eventually move up and win the titles there, unify there, and then uh, just fight the best available competition each time up. The other championship bout is uh, Jamel Charlo versus Tony Harrison. Mm -hmm. What did you think about that first fight? Because there's a lot of controversy on the first fight. I think if you cut the cut the sound off, mm -hmm. then you would see who won the fight. I thought Tony Harrison. Edged him in a, in a good fight. I think uh, he landed more clean, effective, more clean, effective punches, and uh, I think he boxed really well using his jab. I think Jamel missed a lot. I think uh, I just think I just think that he did that good that night. You know, what I mean, I think the, the the corner was a little bit, little, a little bit chaotic inside the corner. I think he was a little, bit, he was a little bit chaotic, chaotic inside the corner. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, the, the, the fight already happened. Tony Harrison won fair and square. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're going to fight again. It was it December what? December something? Mm -hmm. They're going to fight again in December 21st. Right? Yeah. So we'll see. What are you expecting in the rematch? I mean, Same thing? I don't, I don't know. I don't really expect I, I'm going to tune in for sure, but I don't have any thought about that. I got, I got my hands no, full no, with Rosario. Uh, Another filler question. Um, they're going to announce it tomorrow, but it's like 99.9% .9 certain that Bernard Hopkins is going to go into the international. Boxing Hall of Fame. There's, there's a lot of talk that maybe Danny, uh, you know, will be the next guy up, you know, for for Manny. Um, you know, the old Jim Wars from the '70s. You know, that that's that's in the dusty history. Things, you know, but how much do Philly guys still support Philly guys? Other Philly guys? That's a great question, man. This dude been doing some homework. Um, how about that? I, I can only speak for myself, and I support all my Philadelphia guys. Uh, whenever Danny fights, if it's close by, and I'm not in training camp, I'm right there. Whenever Scooter Fulton fights, I'm right there, and I support all my Philadelphia guys. Some of them I don't even care for too much, personally, but I still support them with their fighting somebody else, because I want to see, sometimes if a fighter wins, that's that's good for the city. That's good energy for the city. It's like, uh, like momentum for the city, so I support all my Philadelphia guys.